So one of the problems I have with my leg, for example, that gets in the way of my workouts is that I get irritations in the skin, in my stumps. I get like this big pimples here, uh, some irritation basically here underneath uh, the knee joint because there's a lot of friction from my socket and you know doing weighted lunges and stuff like that doesn't make it easier but it's like the only exercise I can do anyways for my legs so you know I find ways to work around it and we all go through our own shit but you know uh, the condition will never be perfect so you have to learn to either find uh, different approaches to train different ways to train or you know just go through the pain whatever that is so one of the things I do because like I have these wounds here and like they get really irritated and bloody and uh, stuff like that what I do is I take a bandage and I just wrap it around and this way you know I make the whole area uh, a bit softer so you know there's less friction and the wounds are more uh, cushioned so first of all this is not like a way this is not like a legit way for amputees to to train you know I'm not like a doctor and if you're an amputee first go see your medical professional this is just my way of dealing with my issues and since I'm in the ending of my Wolverine slash superhero workout you know I don't want to stop now because I want to feel it finish the whole challenge so this is the way I work around my my issues and you know it's more of a patch up it's not like a, a solution but it works so let's do some weighted lunges my favorite leg workout for dips for better chest isolation with dips is protraction of your shoulder blades so when you're at the top position don't unlock your elbows keep them a little bit bent so you keep the tension on the chest muscle but uh, so when you're at the top position instead of uh, rounding the the motion that the rep with uh, unlocking the elbows protract the scapula so once you're here and you protract the scapulas you get a little bit of more motion and protraction of the scapulars is done by your chest it's not the primer muscle the primer muscle is the serratus anterior for protract protraction of the shoulder blades but it's a secondary muscle uh, chest uh, pec minor and pec major and you can still feel that you know it, it increases it increases the tension on the chest it adds a little bit more so you'll probably understand this better if I do it but I'll also be making a video more detailed video on how to do this so when you're pushing upwards instead of unlocking the elbows you keep them a little bit bent and you protract your shoulder blades so from here protect and go a little bit higher this adds a little bit more range of motion and if you also focus on squeezing the chest while you're doing that it's going to add a lot of tension to the chest it's going to make the exercise a lot more difficult and you know using that mind to muscle connection you can isolate the chest more so Lean a little bit forward as well, that also puts more 
stress on the chest and use this tip, it's really good. What I'm doing now is I'm supersetting this exercise with one arm let ups. Let me finish my set. What do these do? So one arm let ups. It's sort of a term I like to say that I point after my article on how to do one arm pull up. I wrote for T Nation and it's basically an exercise to isolate the lats so you're pulling yourself upwards without unlocking the elbow and it also works a ton of grip strength. So, great exercise for grip strength, isolating your lats, great finisher for ending of your workouts. And yeah, really cool exercise. Definitely include it in your workouts if you wanna work on some more grip strength, forearm strength, and isolating your lats. Hope you like today's video, training sort of vlog, with tips, and I'll next time, Keep on training.